Hey everybody, Prime Day 2025 is upon us and everybody is getting in on the action. My favorite battery company, Watt Cycle, is no exception and they got a bunch of sales going on. There's a ton of options out there. I picked out some of my favorites and what I think the best deals are. The vast majority of them I have reviewed on my channel over the last couple of years. So I've got hands-on experience with a bunch of them. Uh, my discount codes apply to some and not others, but I wanna let you know uh, what I think the best values are. All right, let's get going. Number one, the 12 volt, 280 amp hour with Bluetooth is $399. I have confirmed that my 10% off discount code works on this, taking it to $360. We have not seen that price in months before the tariffs and all that sort of stuff started. So this is the best price we've seen. You can see here I'm pulling three and a half amps and I've got about 120 hours of runtime on my fan on this battery. They're clearing them out to make room for the 314 and they do have a couple left. This is the best watt per dollar deal that you're going to see out of anything else that I mentioned. So 12 volt, 280 amp hour with Bluetooth for 360 is the deal to grab. If you wanna go ahead and upgrade to something a little bit bigger, we have got the 12 volt 314 amp hour with Bluetooth at 499. Also one of my favorite batteries is the 12 volt 100 amp hour micro battery for 160. It's really fun and useful and you get a ton of power in something the size of a lunch pail. It's, it's incredible that they've got that much capacity into that kind of tiny of a package. We've got two new monster batteries and I cannot wait to get my hands on these things. I was supposed to have one delivered on Thursday or Friday, but because of the flooding that's happening in the central Texas area, it's been delayed. So this is the same battery in two different configurations. We have got a 12 volt, 628 amp hour. It's basically two of those smushed together with Bluetooth or a 24 volt, 314 amp hour. Again, it's two of those smushed together in series instead of parallel for 1200 bucks, 1199 with Bluetooth in a, in a great case. So if you've been around my channel for a while, you know I'm a big fan of 24 volt setups. And this is a very, very big 24 volt battery. You don't have to deal with the jumper wire in between. Um, you know, just saves you a little bit of work, a couple of dollars. And you have a huge, huge, huge capacity, like 8,000 watt hours. I'm really looking forward to playing with the 24 volt system, but the best bang for the buck is the 12 volt 280 amp hour for 360. So technically I could put two of those together and be at 24 volt 280 amp hours for under 800 bucks. So that's the best deal out there. If you, if they sell out, you want to go ahead and get something bigger, the 12 volt 628 or the 24 volt 340 are great big monsters. Make sure you go through their website and check through their Prime Day sales. They've got deals on MPPT solar charge controllers, AC adapters, everything else. So check out my buddies at Watt Cycle and see if they got something that fits for your needs during this great sale. In a world of tariffs and other bad news, we finally got some good news. WattCycle has dropped the price of their 12 volt, 280 amp hour mini with Bluetooth. This unit is now 499 and my 10% discount code still works, takes this to 450. So as mentioned, you've got Bluetooth uh, app inside here. You've got low temperature charging protection. So if the battery gets too cold, it'll shut itself off. We've got a 200 amp BMS for protection. This thing is 15 by 7.6 by 9.7 inches and weighs about 57 pounds. So you get a whole lot of power in a little package. 
that you can move around. So let's talk about Bluetooth for a minute. Why would you want Bluetooth in your battery anyway? This is called a shunt or a battery level meter. And depending upon what brand you get, they're between 50 and $120. So you're already saving money by getting this integrated into the unit. And this is for a wired one, not a Bluetooth one. The Bluetooth ones are usually around $100 or so. The other thing you have to keep in mind is all of the additional wiring involved. So I've got to go to the negative side of the battery terminal, the positive side of the battery terminal, and then out to my load. So on top of the cost of the unit itself, you've got additional cabling involved. So by having all this built into the battery, you save money on the, the shunt, you save money on the wiring, you save space in your build, and it just kind of neatens everything up. Putting Bluetooth in the battery saves you money in other ways as well. If you're building a system, you'll see that inverters and MPPT charge controllers all have options with Bluetooth. But since the battery is the heart of the system, if you have Bluetooth in the battery, then you don't need it anywhere else. There's no reason to buy an MPPT solar charge controller or an inverter with Bluetooth if your battery already has Bluetooth because you'll see the power coming in or out of the battery. You don't really need to know what the charge controller is doing. You just need to know how many amps are coming into the battery itself since this is your gas tank. So I'm going to plug my charger in here and I'm going to do a screen capture and let you see what the app actually looks like. All right. Let's check it out. So I'm gonna connect my 20 amp charger up to my battery, like that. And I'm gonna plug it into AC and then open up the app. So here's my Bluetooth list. So I have the 100 amp version and then this is the 280. So the battery is mostly full but you can see down here at the bottom that I'm charging with 20 amps. And I can turn the charging and discharging off. So I can actually remotely control this battery by hook an inverter up to it. Let's see what that looks like. Okay, I got a little inverter plugged in to my fan. Now let's open up the app. You can see here I'm pulling three and a half amps and I've got about 120 hours of runtime on my fan on this battery. So 46 watt draw, which is about right because I've got it on low and temperature of the battery and runtime. So pretty neat. Well, I hope that that was helpful and interesting, and I always recommend that you buy two batteries. I'm a big fan of 24 volt systems, but with two batteries, it gives you the flexibility to hook them up in series for 24 volts or in parallel for 12 volts at a greater capacity. If you buy a pack of two of these, you get an additional 1% discount, so you save a couple extra bucks. So check out the rest of this video where I show how to wire the difference between 12 and 24 volts. Thanks, and uh, if you appreciated this video, please give me a thumbs up and drop a comment down below. What do you think of the Bluetooth uh, watt cycle 12 volt mini battery? Thanks. In parallel, you go positive to positive, negative to negative, like this. And in this setup, you've got 12 volts at 560 amp hours. 12 volts, 13 volts. But by rearranging the wires, I can go into series. And now we're in 24 volts. So this is 24 volts at 280 amp hours. The total system capacity is the same, we've just increased the voltage. Well, why would you wanna do that? The two major advantages to using 24 volts over 12 volts 
is on amperage draw on your inverter and charging on your solar system. Check out this video I made a couple of months ago that shows that on a 24 volt configuration, your current draw out of your inverter is half. This means your system's a little bit safer and, then, and you also don't have to use quite as large a wire size. A thousand watts on my 12 volt system, I'm pulling 75 amps out of my 12 volt. It's a fair amount of current. And I'm pulling exactly half that on my 24 volt. So exact same load, exact same device, and I'm only pulling 36 amps. That's much, much, much more reasonable. The second advantage is when you're recharging your batteries with solar. If you see here on this watt cycle 30 amp MPPT charge controller, you can run 1200 watts of solar into your battery system on 24 versus only 600 watts on 12 volts. So just by simply rewiring the batteries into a 24 volt configuration, you can use more solar panels on the system to recharge it faster. A lot of people are concerned about running a 24 volt system, but if you look closely this on the specs of most 12 volt appliances like RV refrigerators, they'll run on 24 volts as well. If you really, really need something for 12 volts like ham radio equipment, these step-down converters are not that expensive. So you get a, a lot more efficiency on 24 volts, but the flexibility to go to 12 if you really need to. So there you have it. Whether you decide to get one battery or two, don't wait on this amazing summer sale on the Watt Cycle 280 amp hour battery. Thanks everybody, and we'll see you on the next one.